2017 was the launch of My Glam, uh, the DTC makeup brand. What was very unique about My Glam was, unlike all the other new age brands that were getting launched and introduced, um, for us, 90% of our digital revenues, online revenues, came from our, our own website and our app. So we were truly DTC because you're connected to the customer. In 2020, once COVID hit, we tried to solve the what we call the holy grail. How do you acquire customers digitally for a price, uh, you know, that is affordable? That's where I first met with uh, Priyanka, um, you know, and we embarked on the journey of content to commerce with PopExo and MyGlam coming together. Uh, that started working well. Then we met Naya and we said, let's, you know, can, can parenting come into the fold as well? We had our series of acquisitions in 2021 and 2021 was really the year where we went from a DTC brand uh, to a digital FMCG conglomerate on the back of the 10 odd acquisitions we did. So makeup, we already have my glam, right? Uh, if you look at mom and baby, we have Momsco and baby chakra, right? With Momsco focus more on the mother, baby chakra focus more on the baby, right? Uh, uh, for us. We have Sane Botanica for hair care and skin care being ancillary. Uh, we have Organic Harvest. Uh, which is uh, our natural category brand, right? It's 100% it's certified organic products. Uh, so it's going after the natural category in uh, BPC, right? Um, and um, so I think I've covered the, and Serona for intimate hygiene, right? Uh, a very, very important category uh, for women because really femtech, which is feminine hygiene tech is yet to still get disrupted. You know, we recently launched a, a, a Serona recently launched a tracker uh, to track your periods on WhatsApp. So easy. You don't need an app, nothing. It's all happening on, on, on WhatsApp, right? And and many more such stuff uh, coming out. So these are the categories we're in today. I think a hair color is a category we still have to come into. Uh, the men's grooming is another category that uh, we want to get into. We're launching offline actually this month, uh, but we've actually been on D2C and marketplaces because the group, this is happening, right? Because of the infrastructure that's already built out. We have about 50,000 points of sale. Now within that, and you have EBOs as well for the uh, for uh, for the group, right? But for Baby Chakra, the journey is going to be very specific. So we're going to be testing out the offline waters. It's a very different beast, as we all know, right? So the idea there is to go to empty uh, modern trade stores and like really focus also, by the way, our efforts on chemists, wellness stores, etc. So I think content to commerce is the inception uh, strategy for the Good Glam Group. And as Darpan mentioned, it started when PopExo and MyGlam came together. Right, and because we saw that play out really well, uh, we realized that if um, my glam can uh, reduce its CAC to this degree uh, with PopEx, so why can't we do, the, uh, do that for other brands as well? Right, so that's when the acquisition of brands started. And then Darwin, of course, took it further and said, if I can do this with one PopEx, so let's look at the other digital media platforms that exist in the country. And if we add them to our mix, that will make us stronger. We saw the acquisition of Scoop and Miss Malady. And of course, we had uh, Baby Jaka as a parenting platform as well. So one of the companies that kind of has partnered with us is, is Bulbul and video commerce is something that they've been doing really well. So how can we get each influencer to automatically generate her own shop in which she can have all the products that she loves and recommends. And then she just has one URL to basically kind of put out there and through that uh, drive transactions and users and actually make money herself as well. And Biduli is India's largest uh, data science company actually where influencers are concerned. They really know which influencer is working, what works for this influencer. If you wanted to ask any question about which are the top 100 influencers in a very niche category, we really, we really actually has the answers on there you know, at the top of their data fingertips, right? And through that, we're able to really understand what at a micro level, what influencers is going to work for what. Last year, which is FY21 to FY22, we grew about 4X, uh, right? Um, FY22 to FY23, we expect to grow about 3x. Uh, so which means from FY21, we would have grown close to 12x, right? So in two years, which is 4x into 3x, right? So our target internally is to be profitable by March 23. Uh, so that I have a full year, four quarters of profitable growth to show before we hit the uh, stock markets in 2020.
international distribution is a platform that is being that has been built for our brands right so that it's one platform which can use which can scale all our brands internationally that platform has just been set up in uh, dubai where we've set up a very strong team led by someone very very senior uh, we actually start selling on october 1st uh, in dubai uh, and uh, you know uh, you will see we're launching with two of our brands uh, in the middle east uh, sirona Uh, and uh, Momsco, uh, and uh, over the next four months, you will see all our other brands also getting rolled out. So our first market of focus is the Middle East, where we've set up a team. We're doing it organically. Um, we're we're starting sales in Carrefour uh, and Lulu uh, in in the next week, um, and uh, we'll we'll spread uh, more. Of course, we'll be doing DTC uh, and uh, digital marketplaces as well. Glow brightening sheet mask. professor's uh, sunscreen i use that every single day honestly i really love the baby chakra baby hair oil <laughs> i think both has done a fantastic job uh, they have a very strong uh, point of view i really like the whole truth i i'd be an entrepreneur for sure to be a pr person i actually am a qualified lawyer the tipping point is very interesting for me the hard thing but hard things the hard thing but hard things <laughs>